Hello everyone, welcome to this third episode on Anubhav Learning Series Sessions in which we are talking about chart controls. In our last two sessions, we have discussed about the concept of analytics and also prepared the Odata service which will supply data to our chart controls. If you are watching this video directly, I would recommend you to go and check part one and part two of this video series. I will put the link into the description of this video for part one and part two. Before we start today's session, I would like to quickly request all of you to please subscribe onto this YouTube channel for Anubo Oberoi, where you will find latest up-to-date information on greatest technologies and all the technical learning which you would need today to be able to perform well in your job. We are bringing these videos free of cost to all of you. Hello everyone, welcome to this next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's session, we will talk about advanced visualization using analytic map control. Analytic map control is a very powerful control, yet very nice control from the end user point of view where you want to display some data in form of maps. It will portray a world map to the user on the screen and now you can also highlight some of the regions and countries based on the different requirements. This particular video is part five of five video series on visualization and chart. If you have not seen the first four videos, I would strongly recommend you to go ahead and please watch those four videos first of all. If you are new to SAB UI5 and Fiori, finding it every day difficult, facing daily challenges to learn the right things, the right strategy, please feel free to subscribe to my UI5 and Fiori training, which is designed for freshers, starting from the basics of HTML5 and JavaScript till the advanced level of deploying an end-to-end -end Fiori app on top of Odata service. This tutorial is more relevant for people who have taken my course already and have an idea on SAP UI5 Fiori, all the important concepts related to the bindings and UI5 control, building an MVC-based Fiori applications. If you are new to SAP ABAP on HANA, feel free to subscribe my S4 HANA and ABAP on HANA course where we will cover some insights in detail on CDS views and latest concepts. So let's get started. In this session, we will create now an extension of our application with a chart. So let's go back to the application, what we have built so far. So we have built this chart application where we get four charts and different sales figures based on different measures as well as different dimensions. Now you can see here the sales in countries and you can see here different country codes. So I am having now sales in different countries, but this pie chart, I'm not so happy. So probably what I want is rather displaying a pie chart for my country. I would like to display something like a world map. On that world map, the sales figure should also be highlighted. If a country is giving me higher sales, it should, the coloring for that particular country should be in the green. And then slowly as and when I move towards low sales country, it should turn red. How to achieve such a typical scenario? So for that, we will be using an analytic map. We will be getting the data from our database table via the Odata service for sales by country and mapping it to a local entity set. That local entity set I will be binding to our analytical map. So first of all, how do you get an analytic map which portrays the world map on your screen? So let's do that on the top of the page and these charts will be moved down. So I will go back to our SAP Web IDE project. I will share this source code with all of you. You can download this source code absolutely free. Please check the description of this video to find the link where you can go ahead and download this source code and apply this in your company. Go back to main view. This is where we, we have coded all the charts with frames. And now I'm just going to go on the top. First of all, adding the dependency. The dependency starts with XML namespace and this dependency is called VBM. 
sap.ui.bbm dependency. And now we will add a VBM control from this family of VBM. And now in this we will add analytic map control. Let's give an ID VBI. Let's give a width 100%. Height 100%. And now we will just enter the required information. So remember, the map has to display all the country regions. Yeah, that is what it should display. So I will just close this right now. And it should now display an analytic map right away on the UI. Of course, in the next subsequent step, we will be highlighting the different regions on the map, like countries based on their sales uh, performance are done in our company. So I will just save this and just quickly go back, refresh the page, and we should see now a beautiful analytical map, which is nothing but the world map on the UI. Awesome, look at here, what a control. What an amazing control, the world map control on your screen, guys. But now the requirement is not so easy. What we want to do, we want to color up these countries based on their sales figure. The country which has given me the highest sales should be marked in the green color. However, the country which has given me the lowest sales comparatively, it should be marked in the red color. That's what we want to do. How to achieve such a scenario? So for that region, we have to use a regions aggregation as part of the chart control and map the RGB coloring to these different regions. Every region, if you just highlight, you can see it's showing the country names. Yeah. So whenever I go in, system is actually showing us the different country names. You see? Yeah. Nice. So each of them has a country code, which is actually also mapping with the country code, which we have got here in form of chart data. So if you look at our chart data, it has got US, AR, JP, Japan, Mexico, all this country code, Germany, we have got France. So all these are exactly the right, right company codes which are required also to this chart control to highlight the certain area. Just to give you a quick look and feel, suppose I want to highlight India in this entire map with RGB coloring. So what I can do is go back and here we will add an aggregation. So let me maximize this piece. And I'm so sorry. Yeah. Now we will just add here something called region. VBM namespace regions. Aggregation. And that will have a region class object. And then this will have a code and country code for India is IN and I will say color and I want to give a color RGB so red green blue I want to highlight in the green color so I will just give 255 and 0 that is my pure green coloring and then we will say tooltip I love India. There you go. Save this up. Watch out. We come back and refresh our page and it is going to pick up the country code which is supplied as IN and system is going to highlight India into the green color. Superb. Now similarly this has to be done dynamically based on the sales data which we receive from the back end. So we have already built the Odata service which gets me the sales data but now uh, in related to the sales data, I want to highlight different countries where I have a sales from green to red color. So for that, we will write a little bit of logic. So what, let's go back to the main controller and in the init method when we start all this, maybe I will just add a root match handler. So we will go ahead and add a root match handler uh, code here. So we will say sap.ui.core.ui component dot or maybe we say this dot get router get router 
dot attach root pattern matched what is root match handler please feel free to subscribe to my ui5 training to understand the complete concept end to end for router and then i will implement just say uh, map the map yeah what a name and just pass also the object of the controller to this method so this is the method which will trigger as soon as my page is loaded and now over here we will just right now throw a message and just say sap.m dot message toast dot show the page is now loaded of course let's add a dependency for message toast on the top in the controller come back and refresh the page we should see our toast message should appear if my root match handler functionality is working fine oops there's a problem press f12 we have got an error get owner component of this is not the right api all right let's go and check put up a breakpoint and refresh <laughs> so i'm using maybe the wrong api we have to just uh, use the right api to get the router instance so just see this dot yes yeah so that's the right i think i've done a typo so just come back and put this right spelling typical spelling mistake and uh, let's come back and refresh one more time very nice so i just refresh now and you can see but the page is now loaded so that's my toast message which comes after the page is loaded which means now we are ready with our odata model to invoke the right stuff so let's bring it on the object of odata model which is created initially as a default model and now with, with this odata model we are going to call our entity set slash my data for country specific sales so what i'll do is just come down sales country set that's my entity set comma curly braces success we are going to receive the data of course i am right now skipping for time being the error handling it's covered in my training in detail if you are new to sap ui5 feel free to go back to onlinefurytrainings.com and here you will find all the latest courses on ui5 fury gateway odata fury security launchpad Fury role concept, standard Fury app activation, deactivation, installation of Fury, also um, changing the Fury apps which are delivered by SAP, working on CDS views, AMDP, ADBC, HANA basics, native HANA development, XS, GS, XS O data services, creating HDI based microservice enabled uh, XS advanced applications, S4 on a cloud extensions with SAP Cloud Foundry, SAP Cloud Platform concepts, everything what you need today end to end to become an architect, become a Fury architect, become an S4 on architect. I have all the courses. So you can also check the free videos on Anubhav Learning Series. Feel free to subscribe on this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out some free videos which I'm offering on the YouTube very nice and very interesting the complete source code is also available including the presentation but remember never learn from trainers who are teaching you copy paste of code because they are not teaching they are cheating you all right let's come back so now after the success we have received the data but little bit of trick now uh, we got to apply so let's sort the data first of all so data dot results We got to sort this data so data dot results dot sort and just pass function a comma b i want to sort the data in descending order yeah that's what we want to do so let's come here curly braces and i'll say return 
b dot value minus a dot value so data is sorted now what next we want to now uh, just set up a variable var green equals to 255 initially the starting for the green will be from the 255 and red will be from one basically i need to dynamically evaluate the color and then we say our uh, a map data we will create an array where we will have our final data set to be uh, to be projected on the chart for that we will do the binding i will also calculate the factor so basic mathematics basically 255 divided by that's the maximum color value and we will divide it by the data dot results dot length yeah and then we will just have a for loop iterate over my array data dot results array and then we get the item over here And now let us go ahead and calculate the new green value for every iteration. So little bit of mathematics guys, simple mathematics to just calculate the factor for the green color and the red color to form the red and green as per the sales going progressing and decreasing for a country. This complete source code will be available to you in the description of this video. Please feel free to download. Now, say var color is equals to RGB. And then we will have here the integer parsing because the dividation and the mathematic operations can produce the float result. We want all the results in the form of integer and as a new red that's a red color factor plus and then we will say t i green color factor then we say plus comma zero that's it superb so that's my color value now calculated based on the values and i say var id id x equals to uh, we will okay we already got the item and i just append this new item dot color new color is evaluated and we will add this data to the map data finally There you go. We added the map data, and now it's time to map uh, set a local model. So let me create a new local model, JSON model, and we set the data to this model, of course. And we'll just give the name of the property as map data. And pass this map data collection which we prepared over here. Nice. Set this model to the app level as a local model. So this dot get view. All right, we cannot do this. We have to do that dot get view. Dot set model. And we're gonna set this newly added model here as my view model. Now, of course, I forgot to declare that on the top. Now, why am I doing that equal to this? I'm sure all of my students who have taken my UI5 training understand this line of code. But those who are new to it, feel free to make your code strong by subscribing to my UI5 training. Until unless you make work on your core, believe me, it is not going to help you at any way. You may be able to get one project, two project, three project, but believe me, you are not going to progress well in your project in long term because the real sustainability comes into the picture only and only when you really have 
right knowledge okay right build right skill set is very important for a sustainable career all right let's come back and now it's time to do the binding over here at this level so here we will be doing the binding so now if you just go in the top this is our analytical map and we will be doing now the binding so we'll say hey all the regions please create them with the help of view model that's a named model slash my entity set name entity set name is map data done this is how regions will be there and now inside this we will just put the relative path so i hope you remember the concept of aggregation binding absolute path and relative path which we learned in our our course and i love india still so there you go tooltip remains always the same and now we will just put view model text that's what gives me the country code and then we have view model color which we evaluated for each of the country superb let's go back and run now and just come back and refresh let's go and check what happens now wow awesome look at here guys amazing stuff look at this country okay this is the country and probably i feel this is germany now if you just come down look at your data in analytics this one this guy this pie this is france and this is germany yeah france and germany these two countries has higher sales same is depicted in our map france and germany there you go yeah next then we'll look at the lowest one this one you see and then us is somewhere in the middle middle sales so that comes in little brown color so it's basically moving from green to the red red being the lowest revenue country and green being the highest revenue country so that's how your color coding is getting changed naturally based on the sales factors or sales figures of each country so this way it's very helpful very int uh, interactive very intuitive uh, for end user to actually visualize the data i hope you enjoyed this video please give a like on this video if you enjoyed this session feel free to download the complete source code kindly let me know the comments in the comment box below feel free to subscribe to my ui5 and advanced theory training so that you can also build such amazing skill set to develop these kind of applications with that anubhav signing out thank you so much and goodbye